Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier and welcome to a rundown of my full experience with Monster Tech from start to finish. Although I did receive a set of mounts to review, the opinions I express here are my own and unbiased. What else would you expect from a YouTube channel boasting a no bullshit approach? On the 1st of August of this year, I received an email from Olsen at Monster Tech. He said that he was aware of my dual warthog conversion. He also said that he was aware that it was almost completed. He asked me if I would be interested in trying out a set of Monster Tech mounts. I was already tracking his product line from some posts on the forum. They looked awesome and overbuilt, which is never a bad thing. In all honesty, I hadn't actually planned to buy a set for myself. I previously had my Warthog drilled through the entire surface of my desk. Olsen's offer could not have come at a better time. He proposed to send me a mixture of mounting plates for me to test out. So let's get right to it. I received the parcel on the 15th of August all the way from Germany. The box was trashed pretty hard from the journey. The outer box had a second box inside it which was 100% untouched. The parts inside were also protected from each other. Overall, I have no further feedback for them. The shipping and packaging was A+. Once I got home, I took all the parts out and quickly noticed how thick the aluminum stock is. I also noticed how nice the very slightly brushed aluminum was. There were no sharp edges and everything seemed very, very nice. The mounts came mostly assembled and the attached hardware was secured tight. I needed a 3, 5, and a 6mm Allen key to set everything up. I also used a rubber mallet to lightly tap the trim cover into place. They included all the required hardware, which is great, because with the Warthog stick in particular, you need to unscrew it from the metal plate. They also included some gummy bears, which my wife stole from me. This worked out perfect because it totally distracted her from the fact that I got new toys in the mail. Alright, so something I noticed when I took apart the Warthog. The wires within that stick are completely exposed once that metal plate is off. You should probably take care when taking it apart to have a safe workspace so it doesn't get damaged. With the Warthog specifically, when mounted to the plate, you can clock it from center up to 45 degrees in either direction to achieve a more natural angle. I attached the Warthog specific adapter with the provided screws and sliders using a 5mm Allen key. Snug, but not gorilla torqued because it's aluminum. It was at that time that I noticed a small detail. The inside of the top plate has a thin piece of rubber or silicon. This extra piece is so perfect and why the mount clamps so well into place. For me anyways, I had to first adjust the entire clamp piston upwards because my desk material is so thin. I set the fine tuning thread screw to a middle position. I then backed off the 5mm Allen screw one turn each. With the desk as a guide, I repositioned the clamp and tightened the screw again. I used a ruler to set both identical. With the mounts attached firmly to the table, the next goal I had was to adjust the height of the joystick plate. This adjustment lets you have your keyboard and joystick each at the perfect position. And if you had a HOTAS, this would let you also adjust the height independently for each component. This is one thing you could never do if you just had your HOTAS sitting on the desk. I use a standing desk, so I positioned both of my sticks 7 inches lower than the desk. This meant for the first time ever, my arm isn't on an upward angle. This obviously feels much more natural and I don't have to take a break and shake out between waves. To move this part up and down, I needed to use a long 6mm Allen. Now, they do include a small aluminum pipe which you can use with a normal looking Allen key, but I decided to use a better tool because I had it available. Take care here not to back the bolts off more than one turn. The part will still move freely and it'll stay centered. After all that, I checked the bolts and adjusted the clamping force. Now onto the first impressions and my observations. Above all, the one main feature that sets this product apart from any other solution I've seen is that it literally takes two seconds to unclip from the desk and return it to a standard workspace. More importantly, if you wanted to have your flight stick between your legs, you could easily do that without permanently affecting your workspace. Once all the adjustments are set properly, it mounts solid in seconds without tools. They basically become part of the desk. Honestly, I believe I could pick up my entire workspace with these mounts. The fit and finish is solid, and personally, I think they look great. I'm really happy that I got silver because my desk is black, but they do offer black anodizing as an option. Another great feature is that if you ever change your controller setup in the future, you can simply buy new surface parts rather than having to buy the whole mount. That clamping piston is made of steel and it'll definitely stand the test of time. What more can I say? It's 100% effective, built to last, and looks great. They clamp solid but then release on command without tools. They're fully adjustable to suit your needs and are available to accommodate any controller on the market. This product gets my 100% no bullshit seal of approval. Now for the best part. Monster Tech has sponsored a giveaway of a set of these mounts. In two or three days, I'm gonna start a giveaway in the regular format. This is an incredible prize, so I hope you can help me show Monster Tech what kind of community we are. I've included all the information that you may want in the description. This product is a no brainer. And that's it. Stay tuned for the contest. Stay tuned for a full rundown of the left-handed warthog you saw in the video. Stay tuned for some ship and weapon reviews and stay tuned for my thoughts on the NVIDIA 1080. I always work hard to push my quality with every video, and I choose topics that the others don't. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to help me get the word out about Star Citizen. Keep an eye out for that official contest video. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the verse.